Uh, welcome to Tafu Tuesdays with Roxy. I'm here with Scholar Powell, a member, a Tafu member here at RCHS, and he's going to talk to us about what Tafu is working on in the coming up weeks, which is um, this week we're working on Bully Awareness Week in our high school and in other schools. Okay, what is your role in the Bully Awareness Week? Um, I took the role of being the leader mm -hmm. in this part, and um, we've set up. Uh, things in school like uh, bully board and things like that for students to sign and getting everybody involved in it. Okay. I understand you said you're going to do morning announcements the five days. Uh, the yeah, we're going to do, uh, have, I'm going to have kids come in from Typhoon and do morning announcements in the mornings about anti-bullying and things like that. Okay. I understand the two main topics of bullying that we're hitting in the coming weeks is going to be general bullying like in schools and cyber bullying and you have some warning signs for us that you're going to share? Yeah, I do. Um, students who are being bullied usually hear some like signs of it, uh, like unexplained injuries, very few friends, afraid of school, losing interest in school, appear sad or moody, have frequent bad dreams, or appear anxious. Okay. And everybody always focuses, focuses on the victim in this situation, but what are some warning signs of the actual person who is bullying people. Some warning signs of the student who is being the bully are like positive attitudes towards violence, the need to dominate, impulsive and aggression, lack of empathy, and they usually get involved in like crimes and anything. And stuff. Yes. Okay. Um, so what about cyberbullying? I know that bullying isn't just in schools but it's on the internet and cell phones and all kinds of places. So what are some unique characteristics of that? Okay, um, cyberbullying can be very anonymous. It can be also accessible. It can be, there's uh, no bystanders in cyberbullying usually. Mm -hmm. And it's not usually something that somebody would do to you face to face. Okay, so what are some common forms of cyberbullying? Common forms of cyberbullying are harassment, impersonation, outing and trickery, and cyber stalking. Okay, and um, we have an awareness chart that we're going to talk about today. Yes. Okay, some things we have on it are like number one, students who are who bully, and then followers of henchmen, supporters of passive bullies, passive supporters of possible bullies, disengaged onlookers positive defenders and defenders. Okay. Well, um, thank you for watching our show today, and I hope that everybody gets to come out to the high school and support our Bully Awareness Week. This has been sponsored by A&M Digital Technologies. Hi, Mom. Thanks for watching. Hey, Mom. <laughs>